loaded with Minnesotans. Our ice, home ice, Minnesota ice. And last time Minnesota Duluth played here in St. Paul in this NCAA tournament back in 2011, they took home the gold trophy. It was Kyle Schmidt scoring the game winner in overtime against Michigan 3-2. This Duluth program has been on the national map ever since then. It's built by the state of Minnesota. 17 members of this Bulldog roster from the home state, including their two top lines, all of their defense and their goaltender. Coach Scott Sandlin has built a powerhouse and will get statewide support today. Remember, a lot of these guys played high school hockey in the states. The fans can relate. The UMD Bulldogs. One team will leave tonight a national champion. The 2018 National Championship game is underway. Turnover. Coleman takes the shot. Ricardo! Short side snipe from the senior Carson Coleman. This will be the final game he plays for the Minnesota Duluth Bulldogs. And what a way to start. I got to tell you why he deserves that goal. He deserves that goal because of the play he made on the wall about 10 seconds before that puck went in. He knew he was going to get hit. He made a great play getting that puck out around the wall. Excellent job. Then the puck's turned over. He gets it. Doesn't panic. Fakes a slapper. Goes to the wrister. And it's up under the bar, up by the ears. That's that's today's shooting area. You gotta be able to put it up there with these goals. Again. He was going for the exact same place that Coleman scored his goal on, up under the bar. That's where you gotta be able to shoot in today's hockey if you want to be a goal scorer, right up by the ears of the goaltender. 90 seconds left in the first period. Nine shots for the Bulldogs, seven for the Irish. Coleman, the goal scorer. Shot, bad angle, it's in! Jared Thomas again. 2 nothing Bulldogs. Well, Johnny, it was a bad mistake in the corner by the defenseman for Notre Dame. He had control of it, wasn't able to move it. Ended up then second four checker, which was Kuhlman, came in, helped out Thomas. They created a turnover. And then the shot from deep, basically on the goal line, beat the goaltender. And right here, Peek's got it. He loses it. Now there's a second four checker. This is great four checking, exactly how you're supposed to. And Morris was not against the post, so it was a bad mistake by Morris. Also, Peak made a mistake not getting that shot. 20 to eight. Here we go. Got a chance. Evans has a man. And a little pass in front. Saved by Shepard, and it goes in. And Drew Ogilvy has that all-important third goal of the game. Cuts the lead to two to one. Yeah, and again, who's involved in this goal? Evans across to Morrison into Ogilvy. Rudy's pumped. He's fired up and he should be fired up. They needed this goal badly. Unbelievable job. It could be 3-0 right now. The penalty killing got the job done. There's the stretch pass. Evans, Morrison, we've seen that a zillion times the last three games. And Ogilvy goes to the net. I think he saves the first one, John. Yeah, and the rebound goes right back to him. Or maybe the first one went in. Oh, this will tell the story. Watch his There's right shot. Oh, First one goes in. One bulldog lead. Let's see. Yeah, I agree with you, John. And again, you got to have when it's, when it's called a goal, you have to have under. Yep. Face off. 50 50. That's it. Minnesota Nice. Minnesota Duluth National Champions. As you can see, badly to that right ankle area on a hit from Justin Wade, carried out onto the ice to celebrate with his Bulldog teammates. You saw the emotion from the coaching staff. Scott Sandlin, Brett Larson, Jason Herter, Brent Nicklin.
This is a miracle on ice for Minnesota, barely getting into the tournament, making their way to the Frozen Four after losing in the championship game last year, and then winning the national championship and beating a team in a program like Notre Dame. Sandlin and Jackson shake hands.